For many farmers' children, leaving home means leaving the business for good. Nikiko Masimoto grew up working the peach harvest every year on the Masimoto family farm in California. Before she left for college, she thought she was going to be leaving for good. Yet she returned back to the farm. Our host, Frances Lamb, talked to her about what takes a young farmer back to her roots. Growing up on a farm as you did, you had no choice but to work the summer harvest every single year. You're picking peaches, you're fixing tractors, you're sweaty. And when you left to go to college, how much were you like, peace out, see you never? I was 100% peace out. <laughs> I never wanted to come back. Going from a small town and living on a farm to UC Berkeley was the direction I wanted to go and I never wanted to look back. But of course, life introduces us to our lack of control of it. And I had a very specific moment when the idea came back to me. I took a class in environmental studies a guest lecturer came and talked about pesticides and also the public health risk. It was not until that moment that I was able to put what my family had done on our small organic 80-acre farm in a global and political context. I realized that coming back to the farm to carry on that tradition might possibly be the most radical thing I could think of. Your father is a wonderful writer and a renowned writer. I've also heard him say that when he was young, he thought he would leave the farm and never come back. I do think it's interesting that both my dad and I had a similar experience of not wanting to come back at all. We never even talked about me farming um, until I came up with the idea. For me, that familial connection, I mean, I, I literally, I live in the house my dad grew up in, and that core of being that is what gets me through the 110 degree days when there's still more work to be done. So I'm incredibly grateful for that. Working with family is intense. I don't get to clock out and go grab a beer and contemplate quitting, right? Because you can't quit your family. And so it really has forced and invited both me and my dad to really open hard conversations about how we communicate. What are our different ideas of what a farming life looks like and how do we make all of those come together sustainably, joyously, but also working through conflict. It's been quite an experience. Deciding to farm with him really means I'm committing my life to witnessing and being present with him as he ages. And that's not easy. There are some things that physically over the coming decades are gonna become harder and harder for him. And I'm not looking forward to that, but I wouldn't trade going through that for doing anything else. It was really lovely to talk with you. Thank you so much, Nikki. Thank you so much, Francis.